FNR. I'm Keeper Carlson, joined by Pistol Pete Lenton and, of course, Cliff, the Statman Morgan. We are in the winner's bracket in the senior men's division, and we have two perennial powerhouses. I'm calling it the Battle of the Catless. That's pretty creative, Keith. And yeah, everybody anticipating this one as they saw uh, both teams kind of on a collision course with each other. The two-time defending champs, Kit Catla taking on the question mark from Ella Catla, but they are always bringing a big squad. Good squad here. Your play-by-play, Kiefer, take it away. Jump controlled by Kit Catla. I'm going to call them Kit for this game. Eaton with it. Launches a long two-pointer. Back iron, no good. Rebound controlled by Enright. Bryant with the ball, bringing it up the floor for Met. Swings it down. Hayward, turnaround jumper, and he gets that one to go early. Here comes Tom for the Warriors. Tom swings it over to Robinson. Over to Gamble. Leeson back over to Gamble. Eaton. Eaton going to launch a three. He's not gun shy. Rebound there by Brian Hayward as he brings it down. Yeah, Brian is well known at the All Native. Uh, he won uh, MVP in the Intermediate Division a few years back. Long three pointer rolls out for Ment. Rebound controlled by Toms. He's going to run the floor. Goes in with speed, gets bumped. Scudero with the. Uh, well, both him and uh, Hayward were not going to let Tom get by there. They went shoulder to shoulder and denied him. Yeah, no easy buckets here in this game. One minute gone here in the first quarter. Tom's with the ball, meant by Bryant. Swings it down over to Leeson. Leeson, step back, floating jumper. Ooh. Charlie Leeson, Pete. Yeah, you like to see that early on with Leeson. He's got a great shot. Carl Scudero bringing the ball down the floor for Matt LaCatla. Swings it over to Bryant. Over to Hayward. He launches. No good side iron. Rebound Eaton. Franklin Hayward no good on that first uh, three-pointer attempt. Back over to Eaton. Eaton in the corner for Gamble. Back to Eaton. Over to Robinson in the corner. He's going baseline. Kicks it way out. And he stepped on the line, possibly. Yeah. Tom stepped on the line. So an out of bounds. 2 2. 8 20 left to go here. Both teams feeling each other out. Yeah, Melikala, I mean, they're one of those teams. They come and they go. And uh, when they do come, they bring a great squad. Just looking at the bench there, they typically do have a short bench all the time. I think that's always the problem, is just getting guys down here for the week and the logistics of it all. But I'm glad to see them back in 2020. Yeah, and right with the ball, swings it around over to Brian Hayward. He's met by Leeson. And right. Two steps in. Blocked there by Eaton over the back. And it's going to stay with Kikatla. Or go to Kikatla, rather. Yeah, it looks like these teams are going to match up really well. I mean, Melikala is a big team, but uh, Kikatla, you know, they're, uh, they can match them side for size for size. So, two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Tom with the ball in the corner. He's met by Bryant. He's driving baseline. Oh, he finds Leeson wide open under the hoop. Oh. Leeson can't get it to go. They're going to call a foul there. Well, that was a beautiful dish there. Leeson uh, just missing an easy one. So Leeson going to head to the line for two sats. But it's going to be a great matchup all day. Uh, one to watch for Matt Lacala, Chris Bryant, number 33, and uh, Jacob Tom. You see them matched up here early on. You were mentioning, Keith, uh, watching some uh, videos of Bryant. He's the, he's the talk of the tournament right now. I Googled him. Yeah. And there's videos. So we checked it out. No, oh, he's a baller. And here they are, the winner's division, taking on the defending champs. As Leeson goes two for two there, give him a two-point lead. But here comes Matt LaCatla. Swings it down. Hayward going to launch a three in Leeson's face. Side iron, no good. Rebound leaked out to Gamble. Gamble, lead pass to Tom. Tom. Oh, oh wow. Long bounce pass to Oh, jeez. That might be the best assist I've ever seen. He almost rolled it down the sideline. Uh, you know, I don't know how he even got it there. That was a strike for sure. <laughs> yeah. Scudero swings it over to Bryant. Oh, and away from the ball, foul. And that's going to be on Franklin and Hayward. And him and Gamble got tied up. And Gamble trying to battle for position and, and took a hit. Yeah, the uh, locked arms there and uh, a little bit too much contact there by Franklin Hayward. Only his first. Quick 7-2 lead here for the defending champs. Adrian Robinson with the ball. Swings it over to Eaton. Eaton launching another three. He's feeling it. Dirty Dustin Eaton getting it going from deep.
10 to 2. Bryant launches. Front iron rebound there by Leeson. Quick pass to Toms. Toms going to run the floor. He's got Eaton. He decides to take it all the way. Drives in hard. Gets hammered. It gets a contact. Wasn't hammered too bad. Hayward fighting his case saying he was straight up. He looked pretty straight up, but his arms were not completely straight up. So that could have been the issue with the ref. Yeah, the explosiveness of Tom as well. I mean, he just takes one step and then boom, he's off to the off to the rim and no good on that first one. And just like that, uh, Kikala's in the bonus with 6:46 left to go. And on the second attempt, Tom goes 50-50. Uh, so 11 to two here. Kikala, uh, Matt Lacalle rather having trouble scoring. Scudero can't get that one to go offensive board. Oh, two men of players trying to come up for it, and Leeson gets that ball. Yeah, Hayward and Bryant uh, both fighting over the own rebound. Here's Dustin Eaton. You know he's going to want to look for another shot. He's hot, but Leeson takes the three. He's got that range, oh. gets the kiss off the glass, off the rim, and in. The defending champs showing them why they're still in the winner's division. Franklin Hayward bringing the ball up the floor. And right down to Bryant. Bryant spinning, going, taking it to the hole. Power move. Power move on a powerful mound. That was Leeson guarding him. Adrian Robinson bringing it up. Ten-point lead here. Oh, Toms could shoot from there. <laughs> Leeson over to Eaton. Eaton. Oh, can't get that one to roll. Rebound here by Metlakala. They're bringing the ball down the floor. Hayward. Brian Hayward has it. Swings it over to Bryant. Back over to Hayward. Franklin with it, going to work on Leeson. Stops, pops. Oh, can't get it to go. Scudero with the rebound, turn around. Oh, nice, nice. Dash. Beauty. What a nice pass there, Pete. Yeah, double team game, got them both in the air, and yeah, a nice pass there for an easy two. 14 to six, five, 27 left here. Toms for three, no good. Good defense there by Bryant. Almost saved there by Gamble, but it goes right to uh, Brian Hayward. Scudero bringing the ball up the floor. Hayward for three. No good on that one. You got to think those are eventually going to start dropping. Tom, this is going to be the matchup. I think both these guys are going to play 40 minutes today. Stolen away there by Enright. Good hands as he anticipated that pass. Oh, stolen away there. Oh, getting it back is Franklin putting it up. No good. Rebound by Tom. Bit of back and forth action there. That sequence, Gamble has lots of room, slows things up, waits for his squad. Leeson for a three, he's feeling it from deep. A little bit of a heat check, remember a couple positions ago, he drained a tough one. And right, bringing the ball down the floor from Metlakala, still 14 to six, 4.30 left to go here in the first. Brian Hayward working on Charlie Leeson, swings it out to Enright, shot fake, drives in, two steps, finger rolls. Oh, can't get it to go, he made that look so laxadaisical, if you will. Long lead pass to Eaton. Oh. Eaton. Found himself a little too far under the hoop there. Yeah, back-to-back -back missed layups on both ends. Oh, nice Hayward finish. gets the contact. Wheeling and dealing, and he's pumped up. He says, ah! Yeah, going up with the left hand. Nice finish there by Brian Hayward. The seniors game is being brought to you on the radio by Kikatla Nation and on video uh, by Metlakatla, Alaska. So we're uh, just going to look at... Hayward at the line here, going to finish off this three-point play. Big Joe, Mighty Joe, checks into the game for Kikala. So I'm not too sure. <laughs> Somebody's trying to get some people pumped up out there. Who's that? It's Scudero. Ah. I heard him in the warm-up screaming, this is what we're here for. This is what we're here for. Big game, big game. And it has been kind of an unusually kind of mellow start to this game. I mean, the anticipation was was there but uh, both teams kind of feeling each other out right now yeah it may not look like it but on our side of the gym the seats are are filling up and people know this is a big game as mighty joe lewis spins on scudero pump fake he kind of gets trapped there has to outlet it out finds tom He's got 10 on the clock tom step back three we've seen him hit that no good on that it's kind of like a patented jacob tom spot right there he's made a home at the gym Sacconi. scudero with it Swings it over. Chris Bryant, long three-pointer, drains it, no problem. Yeah, nice stroke by the lefty. And just like that, it's a two-point game. Yeah, it's going to be yeah, it's going to be like that. Going to go back and forth all afternoon. Gamble almost has his pocket pick there. 
He launches a deep three in the nice. face of a defender, and Gamble puts it down. Yeah, just when you thought there was going to be a turnover, Gamble with a great shot. Brian Hayward with the ball. He shot fake and going to work on Mighty Joe with the left. Can't get it. Gets his own rebound over to Scudero. He puts it up, puts it in. 17, 14, three minutes to go here in the first. Fast pace action, senior men's division. Gamble with the ball in the corner. Swings it over to Tom. Tom sees some space. Scudero, good defense. They're going to call that a charge, I believe. Yep. Well, perhaps Melikala been doing their scouting reports. That's two now there where they literally converge shoulder to shoulder. They're not going to let Tom get through there. And uh, so far, it's been effective. Skidera with the ball, swings it over to Brian. Brian going to work on Tom. Ooh. Good hands there by Tom. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, and yeah, Skidero picks up that foul. They're going to say clear path to the basket, but yeah. the foul was in front of the play. So we got substitutions happening here as Enright checking out. Uh, Glenn Blandov Jr. checking in. Jason Enright checking in as well. Yeah, and that's a name that we know very well here at the All-Native Tournament. Blandov Jr. played many of his uh, intermediate years with Prince Rupert. Uh, good to see him playing with his uh, with his home nation. Two points here for Tom, or one point there for Tom on the free throw. And you got to think, Keith. Whenever Tom, you know, does that patented steal and he goes in for that dunk, you know, you know, you know how much the crowd gets into it. I'm sure Melikala has talked about that, saying, "Do not let Tom go and dunk on us." Yeah. Getting dunked on is not a good feeling. Three-pointer oh. rolled out, no good there. And that was uh, Marsden Jr. Swinging it over, Bishop. He's met by Hayward. 2:20 left here in the first quarter. 19-14. Lead for the defending champs. Tom with it. Launches a three. Good pressure defense there. You got to wow. think Bryant uh, might have altered that shot with his presence. Hayward with the ball. Bryant, top three. You can just tell he's going to shoot that. Back iron, no good. Rebound leaks out to Dustin Eaton. Oh, got lucky there. Oh, thought that and was over there. and back almost. <laughs> yeah. Working the ball around. Gamble in the corner. Side iron, no good. Ball leaks right out to Tom. Tom finds some space, launches, mm -hmm. and again, Chris Bryant doing such a good job out there on Tom. This is a somewhat unusual. Tom almost feels like he's equaled there on the uh, defensive end. Hayward not moving Mighty Joe, but he gets that one to go over him. You can see he thought he might be able to push him back a bit. <laughs> Joe's like, nope. Philip Gamble. Down to Joe Lewis, over to Dustin Eaton, swinging it around, ball movement here by Kikala. Eaton has a pick set for him, step back, three. Dustin Ooh. Eaton getting it going for his hometown. That's two trays now, Dustin will make it three, he's heating up. 22-16, last minute here in the first. Three-pointer answered right back there, that was Clifton Guthrie. Here comes Tom. So 22-19, three-point lead held by the champs. Gamble over to Eaton. Eaton feeling it. Oh, and backboard no good. Rebound almost controlled by Tom. Tom does pick that up. Wow. Bishop with it. Oh, dangerous pass to Lewis, but he comes up. Lewis oh, draws a contact. Oh. The hoop and the harm. Mighty Joe. Mighty Joe. What a great finisher by Joe. He goes through the offhand with the finish, but he felt he knew he was going to get hit. And sure enough, the contact came, and he still got it to go. Brace for impact. Mighty Joe's coming through. You just got to love Joe Lewis. Uh, you no, just... he, what more can you say about him? I mean, <laughs> you think Melikella might be a little bit surprised by him and underestimate him, but uh, they don't know Joe like we know Joe. Yeah. And we know Joe. Franklin Hayward with the ball. He's going to launch three of his own. Handsome room. Rebound leaked out off Bishop, so it's going to stay on the offensive end. Six-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. 21 seconds left here in the first quarter. Oh, Eaton and uh, Guthrie pushing around there. As Eaton was just putting an uh, arm on him, and Guthrie just, just flung his arm away. So, um, They're calling that foul. They're going to call it on Eaton, I believe. Like He, yep. he, he pushed back. I mean, that's you're all... That's the one that always gets called to the foul, is one that retaliates. Oh, so it's a technical. Technical foul. That, uh, 
normally you know, just kind of unsportsmanlike. Yeah. unsportsmanlike. So the rules have, have changed a bit. They can call it unsportsmanlike. So it's going to be one shot. Unless they're in the bonus situation, then it's two. I see. Okay. So he's get one more. Yep. And now they're going to get possession. So that's tough. Yeah, that's, that's two free points from Melikala. And, uh, yeah, Eaton, Guthrie will keep an eye on that matchup. And here comes Malakala Bryant with the ball. 33. Five seconds on the clock. I, guess he's, gonna, I guess he's going to take it. Yep, okay. Good defense there by Tom. Oh, almost gets that to go, and we got a... I don't know why they're blowing the whistle. I'm not sure either. They're saying he did not get it off in time? Yep. Oh, no, I think he's just mistakenly blew the whistle. He said, my bad, my bad. Uh, okay, here we go. Four seconds left. Oh, a half-court oh. shot by Tom. Might have been a little early. Yeah, there's still time left on the clock. They're just going to let that go. <laughs> okay. 24 to 21. The champs are leading Met Lakatla. Great first quarter. of The senior men's game is being brought to you on the radio by Kikatla Nation and on the video by Met Lakatla, Alaska. We'll be back with your second quarter after this. Congratulations and good luck to the Sons of Tradition on behalf of Metlakatla's Alaska fellow basketball fans. We're all cheering hard from home while you guys make us proud. Special thanks to these generous families for making this broadcast possible. The Humphervilles, the Blandoffs, the Smiths, the Martinezes, the Havrilkas, the Pringles, the Buchanans, the Boxleys, the Brendables, the Scuderos, the Winters, the Haywards, the Feeks, and the Marstons, plus Al Store and the Hayak Foundation of Metlakatla. Go Sons of Tradition! Welcome back. Here we go, right back into the action. Got three down into Bryant. Or sorry, that's Hayward. Hayward going to work on Leeson. Got the reverse. Oh, can't get it to go. Rebound, Alexi. Or Franklin. Here comes Adrian Robinson. Swings it over to Bishop. Three-point lead here for Kikala over Metlakala. Turnaround jumper by Leeson. Tough shot. Defender all over him. Glenn Blandov Jr. with the rebound. He's met by Bishop. He's going to go all the way. Looking for contact. Turnaround jumper. Oh. Rebound Chris Bryant. Bryant came soaring out of nowhere there. Hayward for three. No good. Front iron. Oh, nice hand that there was by slick. Leeson. Oh, that was slick. Like punched it to him. Yeah. Pop. And there's Toms for three. No good. Oh, rebound controlled there by Philip Gamble. He gets that over Blindoff Jr. Yeah, Tom 0 for 6 from 3 so far. That's going to change. So he brings it in closer. Poked out of bounds there by Bryant. I got four seconds here on the shot clock. Yeah, we've never seen anybody shut down Jacob Tom. So, I mean, Bryant uh, done a good job so far, but lots of ball left. Philip Gamble for 3. No good on that one. Rebound Bryant. Long lead pass down to Guthrie. He's going to reset things here. Hayward, Brian taking it, charge! Leeson with a great position. I even saw him, he was wise to stay outside of the circle. Uh, he jumped up there, it was a great defensive effort, Leeson. So still a three point lead here for Kit Catla over Metla Catla. Like I said, Battle of the Catlas. Here comes Robinson. Swings it around over to Tom in the corner, still met by Bryant, swings it out. Gamble for three. Back iron, no good. Rebound is uh, no rebound. It goes out of bounds. Yeah, tough shooting here. They're four for 16 from three-point land, Kikala. But uh, you know, lead by three. And here comes Brian. Swings it over. Got three with it. Launches a quick three. Oh. Wow, gets it to go. Clifton banging it down. Tie game. Robinson swings it over to Tom. Over to Bishop. Tom has it. He's met by Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant doing a good job here. 
Launches in the face. Back iron no good. Bryant gets that rebound. Hayward swings it back out to Chris. Launches a three. Front iron no good. Rebound controlled by Tom. Jacob Tom bringing the ball down the floor. Swings it around. Philip Gamble with the ball. Cross court over to Leeson. Leeson step back three. Can't get that to go. Oh, geez, Billy Bishop almost had that rebound there. Uh, offensive, tipped out. Chris Bryant with the ball. Hayward going to work on Leeson. Leeson got his hands full. Nice pass, got three. Going to the hoop and gets rewarded by a nice pass there, Pete. Yeah, great move without the ball there, Guthrie. Uh, as, uh, Hayward was a bit in trouble there, the double team game. Okay, Callum moving the ball around on the three. Step back there by Gamble. Too much on that. Way too much sauce. They've cooled off uh, tremendously here now, and they trail by two. Blandoff with the nice handles. He's going to take a step back. Three of his Ooh. own. Glenn Blandoff. Congratulations and good luck to the Sons of Tradition on behalf of Metlakatla's Alaska fellow basketball fans. We're all cheering hard from home while you guys make us proud. Special thanks to these generous families for making this broadcast possible. The Humphervilles, the Blandoffs, the Smiths, the Martinezes, the Havrilkas, the Pringles, the Buchanans, the Boxleys, the Brendables, the Scuderos, the Winters, the Hayward, the Feeks and the Marstons, plus Al Store and the Hayak Foundation of Metlakatla. Go Sons of Tradition! Welcome back. Here we are, Jim Ciccone Civic Center. Kit Catla trailing Metla Catla 24 to 29. They have the ball. Oh, going to launch a three. The shot clock was expiring. Oh, and they're going to give him a new shot clock there. Hmm. Could have been a shot clock violation. It's Bishop. Nope. They're going to oh. call him with the charge. Great defense there by Brian as he drew that contact. Yeah, they're looking for clarification on that uh, 24 shot, uh, shot clock reset. Uh, that. Technically, it would have been a change of possession. That's why the ref would have reset it, but uh, I guess that's what we're questioning. Yeah, and that led to a charge, so that gives Bishop a foul. Puts yeah. him closer to the bonus, but it's basketball. Just got to play through it. Hayward down to Brian. Brian trying to back down Joe. You ain't moving, Joe. Oh. Good defense. Joe with the rebound. Mighty Joe. <laughs> Jacob Toms with the ball. He's met by Bryant. It's been quite the battle between those two gentlemen. Crossing up. Has to pick up his dribble over to Gamble. Ten seconds on the clock. Launches a deep one is Gamble. Gamble. Cold. Good job there by Bishop being active. Oh, and now Toms finds some room. He launches. Bang. He Finally. Hits that. There you go. You can tell he had a lot of room on that three. Looked comfortable and he launched it. Put it in. Two-point game. Scudero losing his footing. Finds Hayward. Hayward going down to Guthrie. He's going to launch a quick three. Side iron, no good. Rebound there by Tom. Tom gobbling up all the boards. Well, Scudero uh, might have tweaked his ankle there. He's trying to shake that off. Oh, uh -oh. no wet G. <laughs> it's only the second of the tournament. And Dustin Eaton hit the last one. Wow. So it's the... It's a Kit Catla thing? No. No. <laughs> it's not. I'm just Lucky. kidding. But it's just... It's a weird coincidence. I think we're the only ones that make a deal out of that. I don't know why, but it's fun to it's fun to see. It's like what are the chances, really? Right. It's gotta be perfect. Inbound pass to Gamble. Gamble. Tough defense there. Nice pump fake. Hezzy. Oh, Joe with the rebound. Can't get it to go. Oh, bodies oh. flying everywhere. Pandemonium. Billy yeah. Bishop, so effective off the bench. He seems to have been involved in, in all these plays very positively. Except for that charge. But we already forgot about that, Pete. Don't bring it up. No. Well, he's such a strong player. I mean, that's his game. You know, that's what he loves. Look at the, the physique of the guy. I mean, he's like, uh, he's like a tight end out there in football. You know, yeah. you, he's going to play a physical game. No good on the first one. No good on the second one. Rebound leaks out to Alex Robinson. Leak great out to Tom. Tom going to launch a deep one again, trying to get himself going. Bryant with the rebound. Guthrie finds Enright. Enright 
Back to Brian. Brian has room. He Ooh. skies in. You almost thought he was going to dunk it there. He puts it in for two. Four-point lead. Tom in his spot. Launches. A high arc or no good. So Tom trying to get things going. Gamble everywhere. Gamble oh. getting it done. Gets landed on. That could be a foul. Yeah, they were out of bounds as well there. So Yeah, no, they're just going to yeah. call that an out of bounds. So Matt McCalla will get the ball. Still holding on to that four-point lead. 426 here left in the first half. Senior men's division, 61st annual All-Native Basketball Tournament. Bryant with the ball met by Tom. He's going to launch in the face of Tom. No good on that one. Rolls out. Oh, pass picked off there by Enright. Controlled there by Matt LaCalla. Brian Hayward with the ball. Hard pass to Enright. He's got Gamble. Enright stop. Pop. Good block there by Gamble. But Chris Bryant gets the rebound and goes up with a grown man move. Six point lead here for Matt LaCalla. Tom with the ball. He's going to launch. He's just going to keep firing. They're going to start going down eventually. And Mighty Joe can't handle that one, but a good job. Or sorry, that was uh, Alex Robinson. Yeah, he's one for ten on three-pointers, Jacob, so far. Shooting 10%. Did the calculator. Math, did that math in my yeah, head. Yeah, no, good one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're no good on that uh, shot attempt. Gamble with it now. Back over to Bishop. Tom in his spot. Swings it around. Bishop going to launch a tough three. No good. And oh. guess who gets that one? Robinson impacting the game here. Leaks out to Bishop. He's going to try a little bit closer. Still can't get it to go. And we're going to have a foul there. Yeah, I believe on Alex Robinson. Oh, no. That was on Tom. Or sorry, uh, Gamble. Phil Gamble. Picking up uh, his first personal foul. No team in any foul trouble at all. There's only two team fouls here in the second quarter. So, nice clean game. Enright bringing the ball down, swings it over. Franklin Hayward, turn around, no good. Rebound controlled by Bishop. Gamble bringing the ball up for hometown team Kid Catla. Oh, he's going to decide to launch a three, there and he go. gets it to go. Three-point game. Now Gamble hitting his second three. He pulled it within four. Enright, they're leaving him. He's going to launch. Ooh, and he's going to hit. Bad on that. Beauty. Kikala with the ball in the offensive end. Tom's with it. He's driving in. Oh, he oh. burns his mouth. Oh. He gets held. So Tom's going to head to the line. Yeah, he, he's out there having to work so hard. I mean, Brian's been mashed up on him, and you see that. You know, he's literally grabbing Jacob's arm, keeping him on the ground, making sure he wasn't going to get a. A shot off uh, there in potential three-point play. So Jacob Tom heading to the line for two shots. Just so everybody knows, we're looking at the uh, the draw here. I mean, not only do we have a capacity crowd here, you have a lot of the other teams here scouting, and uh, Hauset and Skidigat are going to set to play tomorrow morning in one quarter final, and the winner of this will play the winner of that, and uh, you see them all here. And good on one of two free throws. Bryant with the ball. Down to Hayward. Franklin, no good. Rebound controlled here by Kikala. Gamble seems to be running the point position quite a bit here. Swings it over. Joe, do they know he can shoot? Oh, pump fake. Swings it over. Gamble trying to fill it up. No good. Rebound controlled there by Metlakala. Bryant with the ball. He's driving hard oh, in on nice. Toms, and he gets the roll to go. Quick speed there by the guard from Metlakala. Yeah, very quick uh, first step there as he got by Tom. Bishop for three. Launches, no good. Rebound there by Alex Robinson. Tom faking. Going in, good straight-up defense. A lot of contact there. Tip ball. Oh, oh bounce pass off the back. Oh, and they're going to, yeah, it's still Matt LaCalla ball. We got some substitutions here. Yeah, Eaton coming back into the game. Adrian Robinson. So, yeah, Hayward was trying to thread the needle there and uh, got knocked out of balance. We got a timeout called. 
The senior game is being brought to you on the radio by the Kitkatla Nation and on video by Melakala, Alaska. We'll be back after this. Are you living your life fully? Congratulations and good luck to the sons of tradition on behalf of Metlakatla's Alaska fellow basketball fans. We're all cheering hard from home while you guys make us proud. Special thanks to these generous families for making this broadcast possible. The Humphervilles, the Blandoffs, the Smiths, the Martinezes, the Havrilkas, the Pringles, the Buchanans, the Boxleys, the Brendables, the Scuderos, the Winters, the Haywards, the Feeks, and the Marstons, plus Al Store and the Hayak Foundation of Metlakatla. Go Sons of Tradition! Welcome back, Pete. We got a great matchup happening here in Mount Lacala with an eight-point lead. Yeah, I know they've uh, they're a big squad and they're pretty well-rounded. I mean, we talked about Hayward being the guy we know, but so far I've been pretty impressed by the whole squad. Oh, pass picked off there by Kikala. Good uh, defense. Is Adrian Robinson getting back into the game and Eaton back into the game? They're going to look for him to score. Swings it around to Joe. Joe going to work cross court. Adrian. Running the baseline back out to Gamble. Gamble struggling. Gets it up to go. Philip Gamble showing resilience here. Six point game. And Jacob Tom's on the bench. I really didn't see that happening, but it did. Hayward, cross court. Launching the shot. Met oh. good on that one. Marsden Jr. with the high archer. Beauty. Back up to a nine-point lead here for Matt Lacala, Sons of Tradition. One second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Dustin Eaton clearing out. He's sizing up Ben Wright. Oh, oh. nice fake. Turn around jumper. He gets oh. the foul, so he's going to be heading to the line for three shots. Yeah, great, uh, great play there by Eaton. So just uh, for everybody listening out there, we want to give a shout-out to all the Matt Lacala, Alaska fans. Uh, who did some amazing work to get this game uh, on uh, the video today so they could watch it, watch the Sons of Tradition. That's the name of the team. Uh, they collected donations to sponsor the video feed. Uh, many people contributed to make this happen, but they want to give special thanks to Lindsay Hayward and Hannah Sierra for working uh, with uh, CFNR to make it happen with everybody involved. So uh, big props out to you guys and uh, your team leading right now. They look great. Definitely so is Eaton. Good on uh, two of those. Yeah, one of two. One of two, sorry. Oh, they call his foot on line. He almost got the steal there. One oh. second. Holy. He could have been a quarterback. Oh boy. <laughs> That's quite the arm it, there by Hayward. It, that was an incredible throw. 41-33. Metlakala leads over the defending champs. Kick Hatla. In your senior men's game here. Yeah, this senior game is being brought to you on the radio by the Kick Hatla Nation. And on the video, as we said, by the people of Metlakala, Alaska. We'll be back with Cliff Notes and your first half wrap-up after this. Champs 41 33. Uh, a little bit of a surprise, perhaps, but uh, it's now time for Cliff Notes uh, brought to you by Shearwater Marina and Resort. And uh, looking at the stat sheet for Mel uh, we talked about Brian Hayward. Uh, he's the guy we're familiar with. He won the MVP in the intermediate division in 2015. Uh, always been a great player. The Hayward name is a, just a tradition around here. He's leading, leading all scorers for Mel He's got 11 points, four uh, rebounds. Uh, also, Clifton Guthrie, uh, he got into a little bit of a tussle there with uh, Eaton. Uh, he has 10 points. Uh, for them, and that's uh, all their scores are double digits. Bryant, uh, we talked a lot about him. He has nine. Uh, Blandoff with three. Enright with three. Uh, Scudero and Franklin Hayward with a bucket apiece. And uh, good shooting their performance. They shot 44%, took care of the ball, only five turnovers, and a bunch of blocked shots and altered shots there by, uh, by Brian Hayward. But the defending champs, I guess, uh, you know, we've never really seen this, Keith. Uh, Jacob Tom really struggling out there. Uh, one for 12 in the first half, shooting 8% for the game. He's only got seven points with four of those coming off free throws. But uh, I'd be really shocked if you can contain uh, Jacob Tom for more than uh, a half. So, But Bryant, give him credit. He's been while guarding him. Uh, and uh, Tom, seven points, six rebounds, two assists. But their top scorer, Dustin Eaton, he had a great first half there. As he had ten points. Gamble with eight. Uh, Leeson with six. And other than that, it's only Joe Lewis with two points. And uh, Kikala, they shot 25% in that first half, uh, cleaning up on the boards. But... Uh, yeah, they're just going to have to get shooting, get Jacob going here, Keith. 
Yeah, that's, uh, you know, we haven't quite seen Jacob in single digits uh, potentially ever. Yeah. So I would expect him to regroup and, and come back in full force. And, you know, some of those shots look good. They were just off by a little bit. Uh, but no excuses need to be made with the tough defense that Matt Lacalle is playing. We're going to have a great second half coming up in about seven minutes, Pete. Yeah, so this is Cliff Notes here at the half. Kitkal, uh, Matt Lacalle, stay tuned for your second half. And this was brought to you by Shearwater Marina and Resort. We'll take a break. We'll be back with the second half after this. It's the 2020 Junior All-Nuda Basketball Tournament. Your Nation, your station, CFNR. I'm Kiefer Carlson. Of course, we're here live at the All-Nuda Basketball Tournament. 61st annual and we're here in a bit of a, a, a situation we're not quite used to where Kikal is trailing 41 to 33 to Melikat and Alaska Pete they're what we're welcoming them welcoming them back to the tournament yeah well just looking at their draw here winner of this is going to go into the semifinals tomorrow at 4 p.m. we'll take on the winner of a house at Skidigat uh, that'll be a great matchup and the loser of this game going to drop down to another game tonight so we're in, we're in two a days. That's how it goes here. And they're going to await the winner of Gitwin Silk and Kitimat, senior men. So whoever loses is going to have to suit up again tonight. But back with your second half, Kiefer. And Scudero pops in a three really quickly there, giving them a double-digit lead, their first double-digit lead of the game. 11 points, 44 to 33. Eaton for three. No good side iron. Scudero with the rebound. He's going to bring that ball down the floor. He's going to launch another three. Heat check. Leeson with the rebound. 9.30 left here. Only 30 seconds gone. Tom's with it. Back out to Eaton. Eaton. Over to Gamble. Wide open for three. Gamble. Back iron. Leaks out to Robinson. Over to Leeson. Tom with it now. He's got Enright. Launches a deep three. And he gets it to go. Jacob Tom bangs it down. 44-36, Scudero bringing it down, Enright with it now. Over to Bryant. Enright driving in, two steps, floats, leaks it out to Hayward. Franklin, cross court, dangerous pass to Ooh. Bryant. He swings it around to Scudero, he's got three seconds. They got to shoot. Oh, oh nice great. shovel in there. Up and under shot there by Bryant, beauty. So back to a 10 point lead for Metlakatla. Eaton swings it around. Gamble. Leeson with it now. Oh, shot fake over to Tom. Tom behind the back pass. Eaton has to force up a shot, and that's going to be nowhere close. Great defense here by Matt LaCatla. Yeah, I was more expecting uh, this Kikala to go on a big run here. I mean, the one thing we haven't seen yet, Keith, is this home, this home crowd. You know, Kikala fans usually are there to energize their squad. It's been pretty quiet here so far. It definitely has. I expect things to pick up here. Is Hayward for three. Side iron, no good. Rebound goes to Dustin Eaton. Gamble running the floor. He's going on the reverse. Can't get it to go. Leeson following it. Can't get that in. Melikala again with another rebound. Bryant oh. gets fouled on the three. As Eaton came in for the contact. It's going to be three free throws as uh, Bryant can head, head to the line. So it's a reminder this game is being brought to you on the radio by the Kikala Nation and on video by the people of Melikala, Alaska, who are tuned in on the video. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back after this. Stop, Melikala. Heisla Nation Council is very proud of the One hard minute. work and dedication from all Heisla players in the 61st annual All-Native Basketball Tournament. A special thanks to the coaches and managers who have given their time and energy, best wishes and safe travels to the Heisla Senior Women, Heisla Intermediates, Heisla Seniors, and the Heisla Masters Team. Heisla Nation Council would also like to wish safe travels to all those traveling to Prince Rupert to cheer on their teams. Good luck and have fun. Gitsala Nation would like to take this time to welcome all of the players, coaches, and teams to the 61st annual All-Native Basketball Tournament in Prince Rupert. Your commitment and unwavering dedication to basketball is a true inspiration for your nation, and it inspires our future basketball stars. We wish you the best of luck this year. Play with honor and play with sportsmanship. This has been a message from the Gitsala Nation. Welcome back, Enright. Just got a nice dish from Scudero there under the hoop to put it in uh, for 49 to 36. And earlier on the free throws, Bryant went one for three as Tom's launches up a three, rims out, no good. 
Gamble with the rebound. Lead pass to Eaton. Eaton hesitates. Leeson left wide open. He's going to launch a three. Leeson, nothing but backboard there. Bryant running the floor. Hascadero, he's going to stop and pop a deep three. No good on that. Rebound leaks out to Eaton. Eaton has Gamble down. Decides to bring it down himself. Cross court pass over to Robinson. Robinson right back across court to Gamble. Now nothing, just nothing is falling here for Kikala. Yeah, they're now six for 33 on three pointers. Bryant with the ball now. Step back three, no good. Short it from our angle. Robinson with the rebound, down by 13 here. Largest lead of the game for Malakatla, Alaska against the defending champs. Phil Gamble goes in, nice clutch. Puts it up and in for two, Pete. Yeah, they're just going to have to start on the defensive end here. I mean, uh, you've said this many times. They can't go shot for shot here. Uh, they got to tighten up the defense here on Malakatla. Skidaro kicks it out. Hayward for three. Bang! He hits that one. And he was wide open there. Just great ball movement by Malakatla. Toms. Going to get called with uh, Chark? No, I think Bryant, yeah, going to get called with the block. Block? Yeah, shuffled his feet over. Our camera people were in the perfect way for me. I couldn't see. So I think that's the third personal foul on Bryant. I'm not sure. Oh, that's gonna, tough. They're not, they're not going to sub him out. You can't. Like, like you said, you've seen him. He's playing uh, He's playing 40 minutes every game. Yeah. A couple guys playing yeah. 40 minutes every game. Yeah, and usually it's because they have such a short bench. But, I mean, Melikala does have reinforcements here. But, I mean, he's just a player you just don't sub out. Yeah. So some discussion going on here between uh, the fans and the players and the refs and the players. And everybody just wanting them to inbound the basketball. Yeah, that's, uh, that's an all-native uh, nuance, I guess you can call it. Oh, what happened there? Eaton's down on the floor. but I think he's cramping up. Yeah, it could be. Oh, he might have slipped. Ah. Uh. Yeah, there's a sweat spot, some uh, moisture on the court. Eaton's okay. Oh, we finally. Holy. How many years has it been we've been begging <laughs> for one of these, Pete? It's true. Uh, we talk about it every year. Like, they have to have a, you know, not, not a mop, but one of those big uh, kind of squeegee type things to pick up the moisture here. It's the 2020 at the All Native. Come on. But that one looks like a broom with some socks on it. So I don't know if it's, if it's the answer we're looking for. But You can't be handsome, be handy. <laughs> Gamble with it. Driving in. Good take there by Gamble, who has really been the one putting it in for uh, Kikala, keeping them in this. 52-40, to 40. Scudero bringing the ball down. He's going to stop and pop. No good. Tom, a little early on the jump. That gives Hayward the offensive rebound. He puts it in for two. 14-point lead here now for Malakatla. Leeson drives in, swings it out to Eaton. Eaton for three. Hard on that one. Bryant swings it over. Man. Oh, wow. Bang. Hits that one. Danny Marsden Jr. He has shown some really nice touch here. Yet to hit the rim on any of his threes. Just Broken like him. that. A set. Oh, uh oh, Bryant just picked up his fourth foul. Yeah, now you're definitely going to see him have to sit. Uh, he's just too important to leave out there with four, and there's you know, a quarter and a half left. This could be the turn, the turning point here, Keep that Kikal has been looking for. The ANBT turning point. Yeah, 17-point deficit. Let's see what happens. Bishop with the ball. Gamble. Oof. No good, but Bishop gets that offensive board. Swings it out to Eaton. Eaton launches a deep three. No good on that one. Rebound. And it didn't hit the rim, so that's going to be a shot clock violation. And it's Bishop almost came up with that one. That would have been his second offensive rebound there. Yeah, it's just strange. Kikal have been out flat this whole game. Uh, we're just not used to seeing as if, if ever, this might be the first. Guthrie with the ball. I still expect them to take a run here, though. Yep. Guthrie launches, and he puts that one in. He's got something to say. 19-point lead here for Metlakala. And everyone kind of just... Shocked. Yeah, you can see a lot of people looking around the, the Russell Gamble Gymnasium here saying, you know, are we seeing what you're seeing? It's not like the same Kikala squad right now. Gamble puts that in with the big end one. They really needed that. You know, if you can cut the lead to, to within 10 by the fourth, you're down by 10 points. It's four possessions. Anything could happen. Yeah, when we talk about defensive stops, but, I mean, at the end of the day, it Boils down to scoring as well. I mean, they're just struggling overall. I mean, the threes are not going down. They're shooting 18% on all their threes. And that's kind of been their, their offense, right? I mean, that's, you know, 
that's why they're champs. And, you know, normally they hit these, and not often you see a whole game where they've just been struggling. Gambo good on that one. Clifton Guthrie with the ball. Bringing it down. He's going to launch. Side iron no good. Rebound leaks out. Controlled by Met. Hayward over to Jason Enright. Leads in. Yeah. Nice finger roll there. Yeah, and on that miss by Malakala, that's what I'm talking about. There's just the effort isn't really out there right now, and uh, you know they're they're, uh, they're feeling it. Well, they need to find the ball. To Tom, Tom's needs to get the ball. If Lewis takes that shot, rims out, and Bishop tips that ball to Eaton. And Tom's not even looking for the ball right now. Gambles. Nice. Oh, nice. Wow, lead pass. Joe draws a contact, and that was created by the crafty moves of Phil Gamble, who seems to be putting in 100% effort here. Yeah, he's fired up. He has been playing uh, great uh, on both ends of the ball, or uh, the court here. Great no-look pass there, sending Joe to the line. And Joe missing on the first free throw attempt. Good on the second, 61 to 44. 349 left here in the third quarter. Hayward swings it down. Guthrie loses the handle. Toms comes up with it. Toms running the floor. Toms going in, gets fouled by Blandoff Jr. So Jacob Toms going ahead to the line for two shots and Kikala in the bonus now. You got to think. Tom's going to want the ball in his hand with Bryant sitting on the, the bench with four fouls. Yeah, well, we, that's the killer instinct of Jacob. I mean, every time uh, Kikala needs something, of course you go to Jacob Tom. He's the best player, and, you know, we're just waiting for it. You know, I think everybody in the whole gym is waiting for it, so. No good on the two free throws. 0 for 2, Jacob yeah. Tom's. Kind of the story of the day there. Bringing the ball down the fort. Marston Jr. almost has that stolen away. Collects it. Tough pressure defense there by Gamble. Back over to Junior. He launches a three. Rims out Tom with the rebound. He's going to run the floor. Oh, he has wow. Joe Lewis running the floor. Wow. Puts that up and in for two. Mighty Joe. Beauty pass. Great finish. Joe Lewis. 61-46. Glenn Blandoff Jr. with the ball going to work on Bishop. Nice handles for the big man. Oh, crosses up Bishop. Leaves him in the dirt. Goes oh, in, Glenn Blandoff Jr. puts it in for two. Wow, that running baseline, Jay crossed him over. Sauced him. Oh, Toms with a little fake. Oh, up around in reverse, a lot of contact there. Gamble for three. No good. Bishop with another offensive rebound. Philip Gamble driving in, looking for contact, but he gets it to go. Good play. Wow, how many does Ga Gamble have? Yeah, Gamble leading all scores. He's got 17. So, yeah, 63-48, 15-point lead here for Matt LaCatla, the challengers over the champions. Franklin puts that up and in. Makes it look so easy. And it's really not. <laughs> Swinging around, Gamble with it now. Philip Gamble. Drives in, two steps, got contact there, couldn't get it. Rebound controlled there by Matt LaCatla. Out of bounds, good pressure defense there. And Scudero going to check into the game. Yeah, well, Kikala is in the bonus for the remaining 152, so you can assume that they're going to stay aggressive, try to, you know, stop this clock as much as they can. But uh, Jacob, yeah, he's just still struggling. So Tom bringing the ball down the floor. Meant by Jason Enright. Step back, Jimmy. No good. Good defense there. Get out on him. Down to Jason Enright. He's met by Eaton. Oh, Eaton picks his pocket, but he gets it back off the back of Tom. Rebound there. Tom going to bring the ball down. He's got Enright. So yeah, see if they set him a pick. He drives in. Oh, oh wow. Oh. A lot of contact there again as they're trying to smack away at the ball. You know, he switched hands in the air there like a la Michael Jordan and would have been an amazing finish. Enright, bang, he hits that one down. Jason Enright 
Just like that, it's a 20-point lead. They can't stop the bleeding. Yeah, 10 for 27 from threes in comparison from Alakala. That's a good percentage. Tom missed again. You can just tell by his body language. He's not even running back on defense, and there it goes. An easy two points from Scudero, the only one running on the floor. Everyone from Kikala walking. Yeah, it's very unusual. I've never seen this. Eaton launching a three. No good on that one. Rebound Metlakatla. 22-point lead here, 70-48. to 48. Launching oh. a three. No good on that one. Rebound leaked out to Tom. Tom running the floor with speed. That's a Tom we're used to. He finally gets the contact call. Yeah, Tom being aggressive, uh, just trying to do whatever he can to get chip away at his lead. Is now swelled to 22 points, 70-48. Just want to remind everybody, the senior game is brought to you on the radio by the Kikatla Nation and on the video by the people of Metlakatla. And uh, right now, I mean, the good, the, one, the shine, I guess the, the one uh, silver lining in all this, Keith, is not a knockout game. So the loser of this uh, is not going to pack it in. They're going to drop down to the bottom side of the bracket and we'll play later on tonight against the winner of Gitwin Silk and Kitimat at 9.30. So good on uh, one of two, is Tom. 70-49, they're gonna hold for the last shot here. The shot clock is off, Scudero going to work on Gamble. Oh, almost on the way, yeah, Gamble gets it. He's gonna go in for two. Gamble not giving up on his team. Hopefully they take his lead, launching. For three. Oh, oh my good. goodness. That would have been a half court shot. 70 to 51, 19 point lead for Metlakatla over Kikatla. One quarter to go. The senior game is being brought to you on the radio by Kikatla Nation and on video by Metlakatla. We'll be back with your fourth quarter after this. Congratulations and good luck to the Sons of Tradition on behalf of Metlakatla's Alaska fellow basketball fans. We're all cheering hard from home while you guys make us proud. Special thanks to these generous families for making this broadcast possible. The Humphervilles, the Blandoffs, the Smiths, the Martinezes, the Havrilkas, the Pringles, the Buchanans, the Boxleys, the Brendables, the Scuderos, the Winters, the Haywards, the Feeks, and the Marstons, plus Al Store and the Hayak Foundation of Metlakatla. Go Sons of Tradition! Welcome back. Here we go. The defending champs down 19 points with 10 minutes left here in the game. Eaton, corner three, no good. He was hot in the first quarter, but we're here in the fourth and not much. Scudero with the ball. He's going to stop and pop. No good on that one. Long leaking uh, rebound. Malakala retains it. Hayward for three. No good. Back iron. Eaton bringing the ball up the floor. Cross court over to Robinson. Robinson with the ball, finds Tom. Tom launches a three, bang, he gets that one to go. So Hayward going to work with Leeson. Sizing him up, swings it across over to Blandoff. Blandoff gets the pick, launches a step wow. back three, and Glenn Blandoff Jr. has been putting in work. Yeah, coming off the bench. I mean, he's not playing major, major minutes out there, but you sure uh, notice him when he is out there. And that might not be because they might not exactly be used to playing with him all the time, and they're just getting to yeah. feel him out, but he's earning it. Robinson oh. Oh, lost it, but Bishop comes up with it, puts that in for two, but again, they're just trading buckets here. 73-56, 8.30 left, kick Catla. Can they make a final push? Hayward, air ball. Yeah, well, it has all the uh, you know all the setting for for a comeback. I mean, right now Melikala just kind of putting up some shots there, lackadaisical in a, in a sense. But we're just waiting for the intensity to pick up here. That's what you want to feel is urgency. Like say, okay, 17 points. You're right, Keith. One last push. Let's go. And this is the man to do it, Jacob Tom with the ball. You know he's going to stop, pop. A lot of contact there. Yeah, he's talking to the ref about that. Guthrie bringing the ball down the floor for Matt. Slowing things down. 
Oh, right down into Hayward. Oh, loses the handle. Rebound controlled by Leeson. Toms with the ball now. They're double teaming him. Swings it out to Eaton. Eaton launches. Gets yeah, that one go. to go. Dustin Eaton. 14 point 14. game. Yeah, they're chipping away here. And a reminder Chris Bryant been on the bench. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to come back with four fouls. Yes, he is. Oh, knocked away there by Tom. Tom running the floor. He's going to use his speed. He gets bumped. They're going to give him two shots there, I think. Yeah, he's uh, shaking his head a bit out of frustration. I mean, a lot of contact. Metal just rotating guys on Tom when he when he drives. We now have a timeout call. The senior game is being brought to you on the radio by the Kikala Nation and on the video by Melikala. We'll be back after this. Congratulations and good luck to the Sons of Tradition on behalf of Metlakatla's Alaska fellow basketball fans. We're all cheering hard from home while you guys make us proud. Special thanks to these generous families for making this broadcast possible. The Humphervilles, the Blandoffs, the Smiths, the Martinezes, the Havrilkas, the Pringles, the Buchanans, the Boxleys, the Brendables, the Scuderos, the Winters, the Haywards, the Feeks, and the Marstons, plus Al Store and the Hayak Foundation of Metlakatla. Go Sons of Tradition! You got it? Welcome back here. I was letting the crowd know he's go. They have woken up and Kikala needs their crowd. Yeah, well, I mean, that's home court advantage. Uh, you know, that's exactly why it's an advantage. You know, this can get your spirits up and Get your energy going. You know, 7:37 to go. They've kind of they've had a really tough game uh, up until the fourth quarter, and there's a little bit of life here. Tom's get on the first free throw. And Tom's now at 12 points. And only down by 12. Potential four possession game here if they can get a stop. Chris Bryant back into the game. Bryant. Going to work on Tom. Tom got his hand for Leeson. For three, Marston Jr. no good. Rebound there by Eaton. Robinson bringing the ball up for Kikatla. Leeson. Lead pass down to Tom. Tom going to work. Can't get to go. Gets his own rebound. Goes up. Wow. Clutches. And now Tom heading back to the line. And that's what you want to see. Yeah, well, it's finally uh, come upon us here that Jacob Tom is putting the team on his shoulders, and uh, you get to see it there. He's working so hard. He's working hard. you got to wonder how long Philip Gamble's going to be sitting because he really kept him in this with his yeah. defensive prowess and his offensive prowess. It's interesting to see him still there. Odd put him in. Yeah, he was sitting at the start of the fourth quarter, so you're right, Keith. Uh, three minutes gone. Probably going to bring him back in soon. Good on those attempts, and just like that, an 11-point game. Bryant with the ball. We got a basketball game. Swinging it around. Malakala getting trapped in the corner. Have to leak it out hard. Eaton knocking that out of bounds. 12 seconds on the shot clock. 6.56 left here in the fourth quarter. And Some substitution. Franklin Hayward yeah. checking in. Yeah, Hayward came in. And he's coming back out. Oh, and then he's back out. He just had to tell uh, Glenn Blandov a secret. <laughs> Toro stolen away there. Eaton with the ball. Close it. Robinson back to Eaton. Eaton for three. No front iron. That would have made it single digits. Uh, you would have heard that from the fans if that went. Bryant swings it out. Enright. Hayward. He can fill it up. Bang! Crowd silencer. They call that one. Big shot. Here comes Tom. Tom on Bryant, launches a three, no good. You can see it from here. Chris with the ball, sends it over to Enright. Enright, oh, might have got away with a travel there, it looked like. I don't know. Lead pass to Tom. Oh, geez. Tom just loses yeah. the handle, just a little bump there from Jason Enright. Yeah, just one of those days. Uh, yeah, Gamble gonna check back in here for Kid Kala. Uh, the lead back up now at a 16. And here we go. Jason Enright bringing the ball down the floor. Blandoff 
Swings it over to Bryant. Bryant met by Toms. Toms picking up the defensive intensity. Leeson working on Hayward. Enright has some room. Oh, wow, he drives in. Jason Enright can't get it to go. Swings it out, though. Chris Bryant for three. No good on that one. And it goes out of bounds. 78-62 here. 542 time not on. Kick out left side. Mighty Joe checking into the game. Toms with it. And Enright now switched out on him as Bryant doesn't want to pick up that fifth foul. Tom, got to think he's going to stop and pop as he does. No good on that one. Jacob Tom still cold from three. Wow. Chris Bryant, has he spins, leaks out for three. Matt, bang, just like that. Matt LaCatla firing. Yeah, Marsden Jr. has been deadly from downtown here. Reach and foul on uh, Blandov Jr. and back to a 19-point lead. It was just 11. Well, I wonder how much, uh, I know, Blandoff, you know, used to play with Jacob Tom and those guys and Rupert. Uh, you know, obviously, maybe giving a little bit of a scouting report to the Metlakala squad, and maybe they had more knowledge coming into this game than we even thought. 100%. Well, you got Neely Humperville down there, a long-time uh, player. So she's, got, she's very smart when it comes to basketball, and especially around these surrounding players. As Gamble puts that one in, Philip Gamble never gave up once. Yeah, he's got 24 points leading Kikala. Bryant over to Hayward. Hayward going to work, turning. Good defense there by Leeson. Leaked right back to Hayward. Brian Hayward getting it done. Two points. Yeah, and he's leading Melikala. He's got 21. Four players and double figures for Melikala. Good balance. Oh, pass almost picked off. Oh, holy oh, smokes. Man, he goes right into the stairs. Brian Hayward, that's that's actually a miracle that he didn't go into the crowd there, into the seats, because yeah. uh, he's a big dude out there, and uh, he hit the. We could feel it from up here. We could feel it, yeah, shook it. I mean, he, I mean, first and pr priority is Brian's okay. So. Tom's for three, back iron, no Man, he's good. looking at the ref saying, "Come on, give me a call." He hit the ground there. And right, down in the corner, Hayward going to work in the post on Leeson, turnaround jumper, no good, rebound, Tom. 19 points, four minutes to go. Cross court to Gamble. Gamble, no doubt on that shot. Can't get it to go either, though. And Matt LaCalla really going to slow things down. Yeah, it might be... Uh... Hayward under the hoop, reverse, puts it in. Almost feels like they're giving up out there, Keith. Back a 21-point lead now, so maybe it's it. Maybe it's that. Maybe Kit Kelly is just gonna have to regroup and uh, get ready for tonight. Yeah, again, we are in the winners' division, so still long tournament, and your both teams are gonna play again. Or the winner of this team plays tomorrow. The loser of this team uh, game plays uh, tonight. Tonight. So Bryant with the ball swings it down. Oh, lost the handle as uh, Franklin Alex. Uh, Franklin Hayward, 323 left, 85, 66, Matt LaCatla. Shocking everybody. I don't know if it's a shock. We expected uh, Matt LaCatla to be very good. Yeah, we did. Uh, we did. I guess we just thought this would be a closer game. At least there, Tom with the dunk. Too little, too late, Keith. Potentially. If anyone can do it, it's Jacob Tom, but they need a stop here, and they need Get this. 23s. This stat, Keith, that was Jacob Tom's first two-point field goal of the game. Wow. He's just had an off day. And it happens. You, you see it all the time. It does happen to the greatest. You know, and Jacob Tom in, in this age of the All-Native is the greatest. And uh, we just haven't seen him have an off day. So he's human, I guess. Two fifty-six left here, 85-68. Melikala leads Gamble, bringing the ball up. He's met by Bryant. Gamble almost loses the handle, runs into Scudero, oh. going to get called with a charge. Yeah, I just got his, uh, let his momentum get the better of him there as uh, Scudero. I don't know if he was even really, he kind of was just there. I don't know if he was really uh, anticipating the charge. So Bryant with the ball. Bringing the ball down the floor. He's met by Tom. They double-team him, swing it out to Hayward. 
He's going to launch a three in the face of Joe. No good. Rebound there by Tom. 2.30 left here in the game. Long lead pass to Mighty Joe. Goes up, puts it in for two. 15-point game. Could be too little too late. they got to push the action here. Bishop over to Bryant. One more bucket could seal it for Metlakatla. Bryant. No good on that one. Rebound by Tom. they got to move. they got to run. Stolen. Met. Guthrie gets it to go, and that could just about do it. It probably will. 17-point lead, two minutes to go. And you know Jacob Tom's going to come back stronger than ever. He's going to be furious in the next couple games. Watch out in the bottom bracket yeah. because here comes Kit Katla. And, wow, are we going to have a matchup between the winner of uh, Housett and Skidigat going to be playing uh, Matla Katla. That's going to be a great game. Good on that one, it's Enright. 1.35 to go, Tom with the ball. Swings it over, finds Joe under the hoop, over to Leeson. Bishop, corner junction. Oh, can't get the friendly shooter roll. Bryant with it now. 1.15 left here in the game. Working it around, and right now has it. They seem pretty content with just passing it around and dribbling it out. They're gonna have to force up a shot or just take a shot clock violation. Bryant gonna drive the hole. Wow, oh, that oh. was impressive. Yeah, we're seeing that explosiveness from Bryant and uh, this great athlete. And lulls you into a sleep and then just explodes and Scudero takes a foul there. And uh, he's a no easy layup kind of guy. Yeah, you bet. No, we've seen Scudero over the years. Even in a game that's been decided, he's not just going to let you go in there. Yeah, I watched a Ron Artest documentary, and <laughs> he's uh, he, he, he talked about never giving anyone an easy layup. He doesn't care what the score is. Good on that one. El yeah, Gamble really the bright spot here. Um, he's got 29, so... Yeah, it was only one shot because he was good on the end one attempt there. That's right. He, even, he forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. 91-75. Kick Catla down. And, wow, Matla Catla showing up big here for their hometown uh, village. Yeah. Absolutely insane ballers. Yeah, I would call this a statement win for Matla Catla, Alaska, as uh, they've now marked uh, themselves as a perennial favorite here. And it puts everybody on notice. You, you see bet. ballers everywhere. In the crowd, there are yeah. tons of players here. And they came out because players know that some of the best players as they, they hit a three there are here in this game. Yeah, that's a good point, Keith. I mean, now all the basketball players come out for this. That tells you how, how anticipated this game was. Capacity crowd here. Uh, you didn't know it by the sounds of it because Kit Kala is usually rocking the house. And But uh, tough, tough day overall for Kit Kala. Very tough. They await the winner of Gitwin Silk and Kitimet. And they will be playing tonight. But uh, that's going to do it for us. We're going to come back with your Cliff Notes, sponsored by Shearwater Marina and Resorts, in just a little bit after this break. Yitzala Nation would like to take this time to welcome all of the players, coaches, and teams to the 61st so annual All-Native Basketball Tournament in Prince Rupert. Your commitment and unwavering dedication to basketball is a true inspiration for your nation, and it inspires our future basketball stars. Welcome back, everybody. We're here. It's Cliff Notes time, brought to you by Shearwater Marina and Resort, and we're here for the game wrap. Uh, Melikala, a really big statement win as they've uh, knocked the defending champions down to the bottom side of the bracket, where Kikala will play Gitwin Silk with their tournament life on the line. Uh, that's coming at 9.30 tonight. And Melikala, they are off to the semifinals tomorrow, uh, where they're waiting the winner of Skidigat and Ahausa. It's going to be another great matchup. Mm -hmm. That's going to be tomorrow morning. And uh, so that's for another time. But right now, uh, looking at the stat sheet, player of the game, Brian Hayward. Uh, he had a big game there. 23 points, 9 rebounds, uh, really close to the double-double. Um, but really balanced scoring from Ellie Calla. They had a you know, really rounded uh, attack there. I was really impressed uh, with the whole team. So Enright and the Clifton Guthrie, they had 14 apiece. Chris Bryant uh, was, had 16. He had foul trouble and sat for most of that third quarter, uh, but still had a great game. Uh, looking at his, he had 5 assists, 4 altered shots. So Chris Bryant, uh, not just a scorer, you know, very uh, well-rounded player. And the rest of the scoring, Danny Marston hit three big threes in that game. 
Uh, Blandoff Jr. had some nice plays. He had eight points. Scudero had seven. Uh, Franklin Hayward with, uh, with four. And this is a great shooting performance, Keith, right? 51% for the game for Melicala. Wow. And, uh, blistering, uh, you know, 50%. Uh, you'll win a lot of games shooting that. And then for Kip Kala, um, they were led by Phil Gamble. He had a really good game. He stood out. He never gave up. Um, but uh, 29 points in a losing effort. Uh, Jacob Tom did come on a little bit there at the end. He had 16 points, but 2 of 18 from 3-point land for 13%. Uh, he had 10 rebounds, 5 assists. So typical Jacob Tom, almost a triple-double, but um, losing effort. Uh, for the rest of them, Eaton had 13. Charles Leeson had 11. Joel Lewis with 7. Billy Bishop with 2. And yeah, overall 32% shooting. Uh, just not going to cut it here at the All Native. So uh, that's it for this game, Keith. Um, full game of uh, the schedule. Looking forward, we have Masset, um, or sorry, Masters game coming up next. It's going to be New Orange Heidelberg semifinals. Wow. That should be a good one at 2:30. Uh, then we're going to be back at 4 o'clock. Uh, that Gitwin Silk Kitimat uh, seniors game coming at 4. And then uh, the women's game at 8 o'clock tonight going to be the uh, Prince Rupert Rame taking on Hazleton. We got some great matchups here. And that's going to do it for us. Uh, I'm Kiefer Carlson alongside Pistol Pete Landon and, of course, Cliff, the stat man of Morgan. We'll be seeing you.